everybody, Brad Pointer here, and I know it's been a while since I've done one of these things, but I've been a busy fella. I got a new job over at Cotter Public Schools uh, as a custodian, and now I have my own hallway in the elementary school to, uh, to deal with, and I, I get to uh, second through the fourth grade, and there's a resource room for the uh, special needs children. There's a uh, the the office and the elementary library that I'm that I'm tasked with taking care of. Uh, this morning, I uh, decided I would sit down and do a little video for you guys, just to let you know what's going on. Uh, I'm really I'm enjoying the work. Uh, this summer, I wish I had showed you guys some of the stuff we did this summer. Uh, but it was just go, go, go. So there wasn't really any time to set up anything. And I didn't really want it, you know, being the new guy, I didn't want to be like, Hey, do you guys want to be in my blog? So I just kind of did my job and, and worked hard. And I think that people recognize that. And so I ended up with, with this position, um, it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it's very rewarding to be able to you know go in and and have some evidence of the fact that you've been there. You go in and the floor's got stuff all over it. You sweep, you mop, you look back, poof, there's a clean floor. You know, uh, bathroom. You know, you go in and it's all funky and paper towels everywhere, and you go in and pick it all up and wipe it down and get all spray some air freshener and and then you know do your thing you know clean toilet bowls I do all that stuff um, and you know the best thing about it is you know you don't have to worry about whether the toilet connects to Wi-Fi you don't have to worry about you know stringing cables and you know doing the stuff that I used to do in IT you don't have to worry about you know if the internet goes down, is everybody going to be on you? <clears throat> you know, if the toilet goes down, then there's maintenance people. I'm, I can fix a lot of things, you know, clogged toilet, things like that. But, you know, it's not going to be something that everybody's standing in line waiting for me to, 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 to fix something, you know. So it, it's, it's a lot less stressful. Uh, it can be stressful when, you know, I'm behind and I'm really wanting to, to do a good job for the, for the teachers and the children there. Uh, but it's never, never to the, you know, it's stress that I'm putting on myself. It's not stress that, of other people, you know, demanding things or, you know, expecting certain things and they are, but their expectations are set a lot lower than mine are, uh, I've found, you know, I mean, that may not be the case in all situations, but I like to, I like to do a good job. I like to take care of, of things well, you know, I like to do, to do a good job in whatever I do. And I'm not quite a perfectionist, but I, I do like to, like I say, do the best possible job that I can. Oh, hey, fly, did you survive the night in my pick -em up truck? Ah. Anyway, uh, so I just kind of wanted to, you know, let you guys know how it's going. Uh, one thing, I think I'm going to take like a little, little tour this morning, uh, bring you guys with me on my travel to work so that you guys can see it's real close uh, and but I do have to stop and get gas so it's actually going to go out of the way but I just wanted to wanted to show you guys uh, kind of the the path to work so let's get let's get started shall we these are my school keys and my ignition keys are already in the ignition so imagine that go me. Make it a little wind noise from the window, but it's Arkansas in August, so it's kind of humid and 
muggy and I gotta wait for my dog to get out of the way. Get out of the way, dog. See, he's smart. He likes to lay behind the truck in the morning and then as soon as I, you know, I've been sitting in here for however long this video's been going, you know, and the time to set up the cameras and everything, or the camera. And, uh, you know, he's just laying out there. Oh, hey. As soon as I start it, he's like, yep, that's my cue. Time to go. So let's let's do this. You guys are about might get blinded. Oh, I'm blind. Help. Help me, Brad. Help me. So this is the little road that I live on. And it's out here in the hills of Arkansas. Oh, hey. Come on now. My, my tripod is, is deciding it's not going to try that hard uh, to, be, to be correct. So I'm sorry about all the jittery noises and all the things. Uh, this is an experiment. I've kind of got this tripod secondhand, and so I'm giving it a shot to see if we can wiggle it into the into the conversation. Oh, hey. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, there it went. <laughs> Lovely. This is going so well. Wow, it's so much better than I expected it to be. So we'll just hold it. <laughs> Yeah, the nursing home and everybody starting to get start their day going out to work. Everybody going to their employers of choice or of last resort, depending on you know their situation. one thing I like. It's 8 o'clock in the morning on Friday morning here in the big town of Gasville. Right now we're headed towards the gas station. This isn't the cheapest gas in town, but it is gasoline. So I've got to go in, so I will be back shortly. All right, we're back. Back in the, back on the road with the, with the new setup for the thing here. See how this goes. need a quadrupod instead of a tripod but who knows we'll, we'll give this a shot or a try or a, a shot good lord of mercy brad speak english so yeah now we're gonna head we're headed back the direction we came from oh and can you see the fog coming up off the river oh that's pretty there's a river down there the other side of them trees about a oh, mile, two miles. And the fog and the mountains. You can see the see the fog on the mountains. As clear as anything up here but with that fog over the river. The reason that is is because the river comes out from under the bottom of the dam. And the dam and the bottom of the dam, the water in the bottom of the dam is much, much colder than the water uh, at the top of the, at, at the top of the lake. You know, it's deep, and so a lot of light doesn't reach it, doesn't get as warm. And so when it comes out of the, the deepest part of the lake, I don't know if it's the deepest or not, but you know, it's down there pretty dang close. And so when it's coming out, it's coming out cold. 
is cold water coming out. So uh, we've got cold water fish like trout, uh, you know, mainly trout, sucker fish, a few things, you know, my dad called them rock rock rollers. I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're they're a prehistoric looking little fish. They look they look crazy funky. And uh, like I said, I'm sorry about the wind noise, but man, it's it's 8:15 ish in the morning, and it is starting to get cold. As you can see, those the fog is so so high over the river because of that temperature difference that right now you can't even see the mountains behind it. We've went to kind of a lower a lower spot here. So we're gonna turn off. That goes down to the bridge that crosses the river. Coming over here to the to this side. There's the school written on the road. And here comes the school. Not written on the road. Alright, here we are coming to Cotter Public Schools. Home of the Warriors. So now we're gonna go down this little jiggity joggity path here. Woo. somebody's house. That's a buddy of mine's house actually. Turn the corner here. There's the, the sign telling you where everything goes. Come around here. Man to guest elementary school on this side of the campus. But our school is uh, K through 12 and Head Start uh, all on one little campus. So we're going to keep going around this way. Kind of take the back dirt road some of the lovely hills. This is the little gym. I'm also responsible for the upkeep and maintenance on the little gym. Uh, not really maintenance, but well, partially like changing the filters out from the air conditioner and you know, changing light bulbs and stuff like that. None of them, you know, I don't have to work on, I don't have to be an HVAC repairman or anything, you know. But uh, then we've got all, all that. That's my boss's truck right there. But I'm early today, so ha ha. Ha ha, boss. There's part of the baseball field and part of the softball field. I'm gonna come around here and park right into here. And believe it or not, right across that valley. You see that, the, all those trees over there? Let's see what you can see. Yeah, all those trees back there and that valley that's over there in the in the distance that is right by my house if you cross that valley if we drove straight across it would be like three minutes two minutes to get from here to there but you got to go around there's no road that cuts straight through there but on the other side of that valley you come up and my house is I don't know you can see the top of my big tree, but I can't find it right now. Uh, anyway, so that was the ride to work. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, then like it. And I will catch you guys on the spatula side. Peace.